Hi everyone. Hi. Today we are making a Reuben dip. So it's kind of like a take on the Reuben sandwich, all the things that go into a Reuben sandwich in a dip because we don't want to put it between bread. <laughs> now I love a good Reuben sandwich and I also wanted to admit, I feel like I start every single one of these videos with I love whatever <laughs> we're making because Basically, Erica, I just Erica, make one of Erica just makes obviously all of my favourite things in keto form. <laughs> How good is your life? <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. But yes, this is basically all the good bits of a Reuben sandwich, but it's in like a hot creamy dip. So it's a baked dip, which is something different. We don't have that very often, but Coming into winter, I think it's really nice if you had perhaps people coming over to watch the football, something like that. You could have some of this, some chicken wings. You can easily do like a probably low carb friendly spread that people wouldn't even realize no. that it is because this is just delicious. And my family demolished this last time we made it. <laughs> and we were actually supposed to be going to a family thing this afternoon after filming this. And we thought, oh, we'll take it. And, and that got cancelled, so it's all mine. I'm so excited. There's a Swans game and a Reuben dip in Dan's <laughs> future. So we have all the ingredients here. So it's kind of a lot of the ingredients you would see on a Reuben sandwich. So we've got the base of it is going to be cream cheese. Obviously, that's not a traditional part of a Reuben but sandwich. But you've got to bulk it out. kind of the base of the dip. Yep. So we have some corned meat or silver side. We've just bought some slices from the deli and diced them up. We also have some mayo and tomato sauce because it normally has that kind of pink um, Thousand Island or yeah. whatever type dressing on it. We have some horseradish, some onion powder and pepper. And then we've got some pickles and sauerkraut that we've just diced up a bit. Um, some chives just for a bit of freshness. And then we're going to pop Swiss cheese, grated Swiss cheese on the top when we bake it in the oven. Now with this sauerkraut, it doesn't really matter if you get the live sauerkraut or not because no. we're cooking it. So you can yes. just buy the like the Polish sauerkraut yeah. jar in the supermarket. Um, yeah. You're not eating this for live fermented <laughs> sauerkraut because it just gets cooked. because it's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got our cream cheese here and it's softened. And what we're going to do is kind of beat that up and we'll add in the mayo, the tomato sauce, the horseradish and make like the base of the dip and then just stir the other ingredients in. It'll come together pretty quickly, but we also have the oven on preheating. 180. It's on 180. So I'm just, this cream cheese is softened. I'm just going to kind of break it up a bit. You could also do this in like a food processor or anything, anything that will kind of just smooth Mix this. Out. You do want your cream cheese to be kind of softened. So make sure you leave it out for a little bit first. So then we've got our sugar free tomato sauce this is just the Heinz one from the supermarket but there's so many there's lots of options. options now um low carb emporium have quite a few yeah. different options um we just find it much easier to buy the low sugar one in the supermarket you're not putting much in this recipe and then we have just some mayo here this is a avocado oil mayo from sir kensington's which we get from iHerb, but Low Carb Emporium have some options as well. And I know people have found the good fat one at um, Foodworks and IGA, so yeah. keep an eye out in, yeah. um, not Coles and Woolies, but other places you'll probably find it as well. Yeah, and that's an olive oil based yeah. mayo, isn't it? Just putting in some horseradish. And then some onion powder and pepper. As always, the full recipe is in the description below as well. I'm just going to make this smooth. Scrape down the sides. Cream cheese tends to want to hang out there. If you're really strong, you can even just do this in, oh, yeah, um, with hand. your hand. Yeah, but sure. this is the easier way. <laughs> okay, so that is all mixed together now, and basically we just dump everything else in except the cheese, and then stir it together. So it's pretty, pretty easy. 
Fixed it. I'm really helpful, aren't <laughs> so I? So helpful. This is something I could make though. I this think seems you could. You super could simple. This 100%. So we've got our pickles, our sauerkraut, our corned beef and our chives in there. I mean you could do this, this would be really good if you had leftover corned beef. Yeah. You know, I don't cook corned beef so we don't have leftover corned beef but 100% it would be great with leftover corned beef. Erica's mum used to make corned beef for me she all the did. time. She hasn't done oh, that for a very long yeah. time so I'm calling that out. I wonder if she's watching this. <laughs> Get on it mum. Okay, so this is looking good. So now we've got um just want to make sure you've got like an oven proof dish that you can this is also what it's gonna be served. Yeah, in. so you want it to be what you're gonna if you're serving yeah. it, you know, not for just Dan to sit on the couch and eat it. <laughs> um you wanna make sure you're baking it in what you kind of serve it because you wanna serve it hot. Yes. Yeah. I can't wait to eat this. I'm already so excited. This also makes quite a big dip. Like yeah. as in you've got people coming over, not just Dan watching this <laughs> one. So you could always halve the recipe um, and just do it in a smaller dish. I you... won't be able to eat this. <laughs> Will I? Is that a no, challenge? No, you definitely won't. You'll be sick. <laughs> you have a good crack. It's a lot of dairy. <laughs> Okay, so just spreading that all out and then we've got our Swiss cheese and we're just going to sprinkle that on the top and then pop it in the oven. So it goes in the oven for about 30 minutes but you're just heating everything up, browning the cheese on top Yeah. and then we get to eat it. We did well on the grating of the cheese. I love the finely grated cheese, Dan. That's my one job. <laughs> The one thing I did out of all of this. Yeah, it looks really good though. <laughs> okay, so it is ready for the oven. Let's come back when it's all gooey and yeah. brown and cheesy. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, Dan has been anxiously <laughs> awaiting this moment. We did, we took it out and sat it aside for about five minutes to kind yeah. of just let everything settle, settle down. down. Now crackers we've got a few different options these are the ones i'm going to try it with yeah so this is a new one from loca we got them from Locarb emporium it's um they're using lupin yeah but it's kind of like a tortilla chip looking they're nice I yeah quite like they, them. and they're quite sturdy so they are a good one for dipping you might have we've had the loca crackers before this is like a thinner crispier version um, we also really like the Keep Keto. These are just like an almond meal cracker, the garlic bread flavor, for always. Um, otherwise, pork rinds, like we like the Epic brand from um, iHerb for dipping because they're really airy and light. That's probably your favorite. You need, you need something that can hold up because it's quite a... It's a, it's a substantial dip. Solid dip. dip. <laughs> I'm going to try and get... Good. Oh, that's a good bit of cheese right there. <laughs> oh my that. god, you're gonna get the half the dip. <laughs> it's really hot. Oh my god. Pickles, corned beef, sauerkraut, all in the one cheesy melty goodness cheesy bite um it's really it really tastes like a reuben sandwich <laughs> like it's so 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 good <laughs> you have to try this if you were having people come over for drinks or watching the footy like erica said this will be 100 percent a crowd pleaser for sure it is so delicious what do you think of the crackers? I like the crackers. Yeah. I, I like them. They're using lupin, so they're not for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, but I was able to get a substantial bit on that um, cracker, and it's well, and we know that's how you judge a cracker by the amount 100%. of you can get on it. <laughs> All right. Hopefully, 
<laughs> you've enjoyed this video try this dip for sure give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it make sure you're subscribed and thank you so much for watching bye, bye.